All right. So say you have two actors in Unreal Engine. That's what we got here. We got two actors. Just, uh, you know, I got cubes. And then say you have a variable. We're going to make it player score. Make it an integer. And how do you get one actor to access that from that actor? If, if you know what I mean. So we have another one. It's called item zero. So how do you get the player score from the player actor into the item actor? Usually what you would do, you, you get a, all actors of class and then you find your actor in the drop down. All right. <laughs> and then you click the square icon and then you type get a copy <laughs> and then Finally, you can click the little circle on the right <laughs> and type in your variables and you can find them from there. That's really complicated. You know, who would want to do that every single time? So instead, it I didn't know you could do this. Add a variable and then name it, you know, character reference or something like that. And then... You click the little drop down for the variable types and type in the name of your character or your actor and you can actually find it and, you know, do that. And then, you know, it doesn't really work like that for some reason. I, you know, I wish it did. You, what you do next, make a custom event, you know, and name it and then do the same thing, you know, like I, like at the beginning of the video. Type in get all actors of class and then find your actor from the drop down. Drag out the little blue square and then, you know, and then click your new character variable and then make sure you make it a set option and then drag that in. What? What? And then the last thing you need to do is make the game play the custom event i like to put it right after event begin play because that's you know it 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 it, it makes sense and then if you didn't make any mistakes of course because we don't make mistakes here we make video games and that's all you need to do. Just drag your character variable out now. And anytime you need to use a variable, you know, just click the, the little circle pin and type in and find your variables and it should work. It's great. Make sure you actually write the custom event in there, though, because if you don't, it'll it'll seem like it works. You can actually still find the variables if you drag, you know, your reference in there. But, you know, when you run the game, it'll say it can't find it for some reason. I don't know why. I wish it was a little bit simpler. But once you do all that, it'll make it a lot simpler in the end. If you know what I mean. You know what I mean? All right. 